Hey guys, and welcome back to Skyrim, now in Special Edition. I know in last episode I had talked about not wanting to do Special Edition because I was recording on Ryder's computer and I already had all the mods set up and everything. Well, I have a new PC. I might make a whole video about it soon, I'm not sure, I might wait and do a whole fancy setup tour type of thing, but this computer, I, I'm emotional. I wasn't expecting to get it. I don't want to talk too much about it, but basically, it's very good. My test recordings- <laughs> my eyes are red because I'm emotional about it. But I tested it on special edition modded ultra high settings. My recording software is maxed out as high as it can be. The computer didn't even bat an eye, so I'm hoping now it'll run fine still. This series is now special edition. The mods have changed. There will be an updated thing in the bio. I should have waited just one more week to start the series, but it's fine. The only thing is, my elf is a little bit uglier. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I had to download a different mod for people's faces and mm, I, I don't like how it makes the elves look. Okay. Well, congratulations. But as you can see, White Run is beautiful. I have never gotten, or no, because I have special edition for the PS4. But I've never been able to play on ultra high settings on the computer with mods and everything, and it just looks so good. And I'm so excited to be doing the series this way now. Huh. Anyways, we are on our way to Bleak Falls Barrow to get the Dragonstone for Farangar. Because for some reason, everybody just thinks it's fun to send the new guy to do everything for them. Like, I just got here. Like, come on. Calm down. But like, ugh, look how colorful everything is. Like, everything's beautiful. Except for my elf. That guy's memeing in the background. Ancient memes. But like, oh, I'm so bitter about the elves. And I have my Xbox controller back. I work for Yay, happy days. General Everything's system. good. So happy. So like, look how beautiful the draw distance is. Like, you can see so far. I know some of you are probably annoyed at me, like, fangirling over special edition. But like, my old computer, like, it did its job. I loved it. Like, bless it. It tried. But it couldn't run special edition very well. Like, it could run it, but basically the settings would have to be so low that it looked like regular Skyrim. But... Now that I'm getting to play special edition like this, I'm in love. I'm so happy. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. <laughs> Look at that nice windmill over there. Oh. So I still haven't quite decided if I want to play this like how Gunnar's storyline actually does. Because he doesn't do the main storyline first. He gets a little bit into it. He's like, this is weird. What's going on? And goes to the College of Winterhold instead. So let me know if you would rather me play accurate to my character's storyline, or if you want me to do, like, the main storyline, then move on to the College of Winterhold, then, like, whatever else. Or if you want me to play it like how Gunner actually goes about his story. It's completely up to you guys. I'm trying to think of any mods. Like, I, I still have Ordinator. I don't think there's anything new. I don't think there's anything new. I'm not sure, except for, like, obviously the skin mods are different. But, oh, that looks so nice. Okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I did get rid of some things. So yeah, just check the description if you're curious. There's no more Deathwing Alduin, which breaks my heart because it was so beautiful, but... Huh. I guess Vanilla Alduin is cool too. Oh, hello! What do you want? Wood Elf. Or no, you're a Dark Elf. I think. You seem gray, but it's hard to tell. Don't gut me like a fish. <laughs> I could joke with her. Come on. Do I look like I have money? Yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. Not really. I'm not going to ask again. Okay, well, I don't have time for this. Let's just be like, ugh, leave me alone. Guard, help! Don't you walk away from hey, guard! Me. He literally doesn't care. Oh, she's kind of strong. Please don't, I don't want this to be like Morrowind all over again. Oh. Okay, we're fine. And we can level! Okay, so there is something I need to check. I think I did this, but I also have a mod. Okay, yeah, I did do it. Where I get two perk points per level because there are so many perks with Ordinator that you kind of need them. Alright, so we first off are going to get some health. 
Oh, it didn't work. We only have one to increase. Or maybe it's supposed to work after level two? I don't quite understand. Okay, so destruction spells cost 35% less magicka, and destruction spells are 0.25% more powerful per level of destruction. Sounds good. Let's do it. I am a spell sword, so gotta keep it even. There's another guard! They didn't even help me! Okay, yeah, it said it was gonna add another perk. There it is. Okay, so that's how this works. Should we put one into destruction or one-handed? Dual casting... Okay... Fire spells. I use shock spells, so... Based on the target's missing magic up percentage, uh... I don't know, maybe- oops, didn't mean to go back all the way. Maybe we should put something into one-handed? Always go the wrong way. <laughs> Never fails. Yeah, we'll just do that. It'll help us out. Now let's loot this thief. Um... The boots are better. We don't have that. I don't really like wearing helmets and whatnot. As you guys know from my Morrowind series. It's all rainy and like gloomy now. I actually love it though, I love the rain. Fun fact that everybody probably already knows because I talk about it all the time. Because I'm boring and can't think of other things to talk about other than the weather sometimes. Oh, I ran into a rock. Impressive. We're running with the guards now. They probably won't protect us if we get attacked, but maybe, maybe they will. All right, so Bleak Falls Barrow is up this way. We're going to go and probably die. I'm kind of frightened. I did have somebody ask. I am playing on Adept. At least I should be still. Yes, Adept. If you're curious. I don't want it to be too easy nor too hard. Ah! Oh, okay. We're fine. All is well. Okay, so we're up in the snow. Garnier's probably miserable because he actually hates the cold. Skyrim wasn't the best place for him to go. <laughs> so yeah, he's having a good time. There's some bandits to kill. Perfect. Just what you want to do when you're freezing. You want to fight. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Ah! Oh, okay. We're fine. Take his gold. We will need it. Oh, they're shooting at us. Very rude. Ooh, get him. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, there's somebody up here. Ooh. Oh, I want your armor. Thank you for existing. What's my hand doing? Put that down. Put that down. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Okay, let's take this. You know, we'll wear the helmet just for now. How are we looking? We look like the dragonborn already. Perfect. Let's take that gold and see if there's anything else in here. I'm so used to playing with immersion mods that make you have to eat that like every time I see food I want to pick it up or like drinks but I don't have to this time like it's fine but I'll still probably end up doing it sometimes anyways. Ooh, oh, very nice. Let's take all of that. Okay so here's the barrow looking spooky. So I already see somebody that wants to kill us or will want to kill us as soon as they see us but I think we'll be fine. We seem to be able to handle ourselves pretty well. The thief was a little scary, but we're fine with the grandson of the Nair Green. It's fine. Though. <laughs> now that I think of it, Teldrin, right now in my series, isn't the best at surviving. But these guys are stupid, don't even wear full armor, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, there are archers around. Pleasant. Just got shot. Love it. Die! Okay. Ooh, don't hit me. Run! No, we can't. Okay, just go to zigzag. Hehe, <laughs> miss me. Silly stereotypical wood elf. You are dead now. Okay, so here's the big, beautiful door. Look at that door. Very nice. I appreciate it. Let's go in. I guess we could sneak up, though I'm probably gonna hit him with a spell anyways. There was a perk in the illusion tree that made you able to cast silently. I want to see if that's still a thing. But gosh, there's so many to go through. Oh. There it is. We want this one. We need to level our illusion after or depending on what you guys vote for. Either the next storyline I'm going to be doing is the College of Winterhold or probably next episode I'll be going to the College of Winterhold and we can get some illusion spells and start leveling that so we can be a sneaky mage because that for some reason is something I love to be. It's really good though like if you're sneaking and you just use fury. 
on people and it just makes them kill each other for you. Like, it's great. It's true gameplay. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not very sneaky yet. I don't know why I even tried. <gasps> Die. Ooh. Oh, good thing she's a bad archer. Oh, what was that? There we go. Slap her down. <laughs> okay. Give me that. And give me this potion of magicka. Don't mind if I do. Look at this idiot. Watch him. He's just brilliant. Go on, do your thing. Don't let me stop you. There he goes. He's gonna pull the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk! But, he was an idiot and got himself killed. Don't know how that managed to kill him. It's, none of those traps have ever killed me. But, as you can see up there, there are some emblems. One of them has fallen. The same symbols are over here. This guy was literally so dumb. I'm gonna take this stuff. That he couldn't figure this out. That it's just supposed to be snake, snake, whale? I think that's a whale. Like, how simple is this? I've done it so many times, I just know what order you have to press them. There you go. And we're out of here. Something heard me up here. I think it's skeevers. I know because I've done this so many times. <laughs> Now I don't like letting skeevers close to me because they can give you diseases and nobody wants that. Okay, there's one more. Hurry up and get up here. There it is. Ooh! The very useful <laughs> magic kill cams. Like, wasn't that just an experience? Just... It's dead. All right, let's loot all this. That was empty, I, I don't know what I expected. And this is a skill book, so there we go. Pickpocket is a very interesting skill because if you get it maxed out, I'm assuming it's the same with Ordinator, you can just take people's clothes. Like you can just pickpocket the clothes straight off of them and they usually don't know and it's wonderful. My favorite thing to do is just pickpocket people's clothes off of them and directly onto me and just walk around in front of them like, hey, like my outfit? And they're like, I feel breeze. I hear somebody. Are the subtitles on? Let me make sure. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Alright. So here's a big, nasty web. Let's just chop this down. This surely doesn't look like we're going to get ambushed by a giant spider. What a surprise! A giant spider. Let's just... Ooh, it's trying to throw up on us. Nasty. I'm not getting close to it. It will poison me. Hey, how about you come here? And get stuck in the doorway. Fool. I'm trying, guy. Calm down. Aren't you a dark elf? You are a dark elf. Why are you panicking about a giant bug? Must not be from Morrowind. Ugh. It's very powerful. Very oh my gosh! Oh. That was unpleasant. See, that's why I didn't want to get close to it. Look how low it got me. Ha! Huh. Not happy fun times are on this guy. Let's just heal up real quick. We don't have any magic up. Better than nothing. Let's just wait a moment. I honestly don't know how it hasn't killed you yet, guy. Woo! We almost have it. We'll get it eventually. Calm down, guy. It's gonna be okay. I've got this. You know how many times I've done this? A sinful amount. Oof. Oh, there we go. A dramatic kill cam. Just what we all needed in our lives. I like the melee ones. The magic ones, not so much. The ranged ones are fun too, or like bow and arrow, because nine times out of ten they miss anyways. And you just watch the arrow fly straight past your target. You, over here. Hey, guy. You did it. You killed it. Yeah. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Mmm. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Sure. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Okay. Um, I don't think he can hand us the claw, so let me see if Sweet I can get you down. Of arcade. Thank you. Why are you talking about RK? You're not a very true dark elf, are you? <laughs> Let's just chop him down. I can feel it. Hey. But he's gonna betray us. Yeah. And just run away. Why should I share Fool. With well, Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna let him go because he has a surprise coming for him. We'll just watch him. Hey! 
you might want to be careful up here. You don't want to awaken anything spooky. He woke some spooky stuff up. Can you do it? Let's see. Place your bets. Nope, he couldn't do it. Well, even if, like, I didn't have to cut him down, like, if there was no giant spider, he wouldn't have been able to make it very far, would he? But we're fine, though. We're fine. Let's just take that claw. I don't even want his journal. I don't even care about him. Now, we don't want to step on that. Like, that right there, because that would come and hit us in the face. If you didn't know. But I'm sure you did. That's a dogger. Oh, a restless one. It's powerful. Ooh, kill it! Oh, yes! Get him! Huh. See, those are nice. Those are nice little kill cams there. I used to have a mod that would play spooky scary skeletons every time you encountered Draugr, and it was great. One of my favorite mods. I would highly recommend it. Ooh, yes! You didn't even hit him with your axe, I don't think, but you know you did it. Okay, so this is dangerous. Hopefully we can make it through without dying. Ooh, we did it. Didn't even leave a scratch. Ooh, let's hit one of these lanterns. And they're basically a bomb. Yeah, walk into it, you fool. Hehe. <laughs> There's some more coming. Come on, hurry up. Come step in it. I promise it'll be great. No, they didn't. Oh, why not? Why couldn't you have just done that for me? It would have made life so much easier. Actually, not that much easier. He was kind of a wimp. Oh, we can already level. I'm going to save that just in case we get low on health and need it. Did I miss both of those hits? I guess I did. We're fine now, though. But whenever you level up, it restores all your health and magicka, so I like to save it for when I need it if I'm in a dungeon. Ooh, coming out of the tomb. Get back in there. Nobody wants to look at you. Uh, all right, go through here and prepare for some more spookies. Ooh, look at this cave. This is nice. There's some glowing mushrooms up there. I love them so much. They're so beautiful. Now, in this game, I actually do care about alchemy. I don't know why I haven't gotten into it in Morrowind yet, because I always do it in Oblivion and Skyrim. But yeah, we'll go ahead and collect things when I think about it. I'm not usually too picky about it unless if I'm specifically trying to level. But yeah, I don't even use scrolls half the time. Ah, hello, friend. Don't even see us yet. Fool. And she missed. Oh yeah, get her. So proud. Okay, I know there's treasure down here. Let's go ahead see what we got. There's a dead skeever. A skeleton with some gold on it. Don't know how it's holding the gold when it's just bones. But I won't complain. Alright, here we go. Some more gold. I do eventually want to build a house and everything. I typically have Gonair live in Lakeview Manor, so yeah. That'll be a little bit, though, before we get to that. There is a slightly more powerful Draugr up here. Hopefully we can handle him. I think- I think we can! Hopefully! Ooh. Just kind of keep away, keep your distance for a little bit. Oh, until you get cornered. And then- Go out! Woo! Okay, we did it. Yay! Let's just take that and be on our way. I probably should have gotten one of their swords. I imagine their swords are probably better than what I have. Didn't really think about it, but oh well, we'll be fine. Oh, I hear more choppy choppy things. Great. Ooh! We got sliced! Okay, just sneak for a little bit. <gasps> Don't notice us, please. We need to heal. Get your heal healing spell out. Oh, they noticed us! Hello! Oh, not good, not good. Whew. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Now, I could actually set a trap off right here once they get down here. Hello, how are you? Oh, there's an archer. Let's set that off and run away. Is there anything in here? <gasps> He's behind us. Oh, he made it across! He didn't even get hit! Oh, dang. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and level. That's why I like to keep it. Go ahead and get more health, because I feel like we'll need it. We could get that, because I do eventually want to do illusion, but I feel like right now it would be a waste, because I'm not sure when we'll have an illusion spell. Uh, let's get that one, I guess? I think that would be good. Okay. We're all good now. We actually have another perk point. I wish you would do it as soon as you leveled, but that's okay. Okay, so we could get this too. Probably pretty good. We'll get into the more exciting ones in a little bit. Alright. So there's an archer- Ooh! 
You're not the archer. Die! Whew. Extreme. Uh, I guess that flew off over here instead of setting that off. That's annoying. Is the archer dead? Maybe that was the archer. He just put up his bow. I don't know. I think we're good. Seems like we're good. Okay. So here we are. I believe this is called the Sanctum. I remember it has a lot of cool ancient Nordic carvings showing some of the Nordic gods. It's a very cool place. And right here, if y'all will remember, I don't think you got to hear the bandits at the entrance. They were talking about Arvel having the Golden Claw. We obviously got the Golden Claw and this is where you use it. So I know in this particular one you just hit them both twice or hit them all twice. And that should be the key, unless if it changed for some reason in Special Edition, which I highly doubt. And there we go. Now it's going to open for us. Mystical. Alright, let's hop on through and see what awaits us here. Ah, oh, so pretty. Nice little bats hitting us in the face, always pleasant. But here we are. Isn't this just beautiful? More bats, hello! Alright, so this is a word wall, and on it is a bunch of dragon words! And as you can see, we have learned force, unrelenting force, so wonder what that could be all about! Why could we just mysteriously read that? Oh great, it's an overlord! That's just wonderful, let's keep away from you! <laughs> Oh, he shouted at us! Oh, that was just rude of you. Okay, get some distance, get some distance. He's gonna threaten us a little bit, it's fine. Oh, this is dangerous! Okay, just, just go on out, go all out, go all out. That wasn't so hard. So proud of this elf boy, he's doing so good! Okay, so he has the dragon stone. We will take that, we will take that sword, go ahead and equip it. And there we go! So let's see what other loot he had around here. This is an enchanted sword too, which is nice. Lots of gold, soul gem, and some armor. We'll go ahead and take that so we can disenchant it or sell it. And then we'll be on our way, back to the Jarl. Let's open this on up and jump down. There's another chest, let's loot it. I'm gonna take some of these flowers that might be a little disrespectful, but you know, I need to do alchemy. And yeah, we are done with Bleak Falls Barrow. So now that we have received the Dragonstone, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.